Two days ago, I got this new Raspberry Pi Model A Plus board in the mail. In this video, I will show you the differences to the Pi Zero and the Pi 3B Plus boards. And if you stay till the end, you get my opinion on its usability. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent. With a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. I like the Raspberry Pis and use them from time to time for tinkering. And one of them runs permanently as an MQTT broker in my lab. This is why it is always interesting for me to know new stuff from the Raspberry Pi organization. First we compare the size of the boards. The new A Plus is about double the size of an RPI Zero and one USB connector shorter than the B Plus model. Unfortunately, I did not find cases for this new model for the moment, but I assume they will appear shortly. The huts, in contrary, fit because they avoided the USB connectors also in the full size models. Next, the technical specs. Here is a comparison chart which shows us the differences between the three models. The Zero has only a micro USB plug, a mini HDMI port and the camera adapter is also tiny that you need a special camera cable. Which makes it necessary to buy additional adapters like these. Only if you are sure you never want to connect a screen or a keyboard you do not need these adapters. Which was not the case for me. A few times I wanted to see what happened before I got an SSH connection. This is probably the reason the Pi shop in Switzerland only sells the Zero as a kit with these adapters included. By the way, I recommend this adapter for USB. For a few dollars you get three USB connectors and an Ethernet port if you want a permanent network connection. I used the Zero W as an MQTT broker in my lab and was not happy with its performance. It often was too slow because it uses a quite old CPU with only one core. For me the Zero is a niche product without many applications. Only if you are very constrained with space for example. The price difference including the needed adapters and shipping is also not as big as it seems in the leaflets. This is why I usually used a B or B plus model for my projects. It has all a Raspberry Pi can offer today. A standard HDMI port, 4 times USB, Ethernet, camera and display ports. Its speed is good enough for my usual applications. Of course not comparable with high speed boards, but ok if I consider the price and the whole community support. But still it costs close to $50 if you include shipping. Not cheap. Is the new Model A Plus an alternative? It offers standard HDMI, USB, display and camera ports. So no adapters necessary for setup and troubleshooting. It has no Ethernet adapter, only Wi-Fi. Most of my stuff anyway runs on Wi-Fi, so no big disadvantage. The CPU is the same as in the B Plus model and also the clock rate. The only difference is the RAM size. Maybe this is a disadvantage for some applications. So keep this in mind. For all other uses it seems a good fit for me because it saves me about $10. Which is the equivalent of a decent ESP32 board or so. One thing I discovered during my playing around. The SD card used in the A plus model also ran on the B plus but not vice versa. Maybe a viewer has an explanation for that behavior. At least it's good to know. Because on the Zero you always need to have different SD images. Which somehow limits the portability of your projects if you need a faster board. Summarized. For me the new A plus model is a clear alternative for the bigger brother for most of the applications. And a good compromise. The chance I will buy a additional Pi Zero board became even smaller. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.